So I think it was a couple weeks ago I had mentioned at the tail end of one of my sports card videos that I finally picked up the uh, um, Michael Jordan Chrome from 2002. had been on my eBay watch list for uh, many, many months. And I wanted it in a 10, and I wanted the base version, not the refractor, which I've seen uh, a few come and go. Uh, and so when this one popped up, it was $100 or best offer. And I first sent the guy an offer. I think for like 75 And then I just said, you know what, fuck it. I hit the buy it now because I don't know when I'm going to see this card again and I wanted it. And so I paid 100 bucks for it and probably an overpay, but that's his last regular issue card from his playing days. And I also didn't realize, I had mentioned too, well, maybe it was that Kobe Chrome video that I, I mentioned it. So um, I was going to go after the Chrome run for Jordan, but he doesn't have a lot of them because he has a gap there where he kind of left basketball for a couple of years. So... I have a 97. I think there's only a 96 uh, Chrome. And um, then the 2001, 2002, and I think that's it, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anyway, moving on, um, I picked up the 85 Donruss Don Mattingly. I love uh, 85 Donruss, and I really like this card. And I figured I better grab it now. Um, the rookie Donruss is on some crazy trajectory. Um, yeah, I mean, I may have mentioned it before, but for the longest time, I intended to get that in a 9, and it was always like, you know, anywhere from 50 to like $75, and it was like that for quite some time, and then now it's like a $200 card, and I blame the Beckett, uh, and, you know, it would be really interesting if something like the, if somebody like the Vintage Card Curator did sort of a metrics analysis of pre-Beckett and post-Beckett card values for some of those key cards, and they're like the Mattingly and... Uh, Griffey, and even this guy right here, this this traded Tiffany Maddox. I mean, I might have paid 50 bucks for this. I don't know when it was, a few years ago. But um, I think it's approaching a $300 card. Um, so I don't know what's going on with 80s stuff, but it's really taking off. And a lot of card values have risen dramatically over the last several months. Um, all right, and so I picked up a couple more Nolan Ryan cards from my Nolan Ryan collection. I got the uh, 88 Tiffany, and I also have the uh, 90 Tiffany. So what remains for me is an 89 Tiffany um, regular issue. I have the traded, and then I need a 78 Tops and a PSA 8, and then the uh, 94, which I'm struggling with finding uh, graded a 10. Um, and so that's why I bought those wax boxes and I'll get to that in a minute because I did open the other box. Um, <clears throat> all right. Finally, a couple football cards. These, uh, a couple of TB12s here. And this is his, uh, very first, uh, tops issue, tops Chrome. And so I picked up card number 100. And then I also picked up uh, card number 150. So I got two of them. And this one's called a weekly wrap-up or some shit. Um, but this is a really nice card. Again, it's his first uh, Topps regular issue. TB12. And um, I expect his cards to just be on the up and up. As time goes on. Um, all right, so I have some raw cards I'm going to show. And a moment ago I mentioned I did open that second 90, 1994 Topps Baseball uh, box. And I did record that video. And, man, did that drag out for a long time because a lot of the cards were stuck together. Um, it ended up being like 30 minutes. And it was just an awful video. So I deleted it. And really the only thing worth mentioning that I pulled from that box, no Nolan Ryans, um, but I did get another one of these uh, Jeter cards these uh, prospects so and that was it in fact that that box was awful because every pack within the pack there were doubles of a common player back to back so um yeah just a bad break and i figured i'd spare everybody the agony and that was the best hit from that whole box all right so some more raw cards here um here's one i picked up this poor son of a bitch this guy needs some help uh dwight gooden he got arrested again in Jersey this week. And this is from um, uh, Tops On Demand. And this is like a 55 Bowman, I think. Sort of 
um, recreation. So that's a nice card. And then here's one I pulled from my, uh, you know, years ago I was doing a run of Topps Heritage Yankees team sets, and I stopped that after, I don't know, six or seven years of Heritage. But I went back and I found this card, and I really like this card. I have only one of them, this Core 4. And I think it would be great, albeit probably super expensive, if one day maybe somebody like Steiner Sports put together a, a Core 4 signing. I would give uh, it some serious consideration to have this card signed by all four of these guys. It's just a great-looking card. Um, and this is from, what year here? Is this 2010? No. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. But whatever it was, the 1961 Tops design. I think this is this from that set. So that's really cool. That's not new. Again, I've had that in my collection for a while. And then I picked up some. These are fake cards or custom cards. And uh, one I, I think is really outstanding, even though it's it's not legit. Um, but I got three. And the first two, I have a couple of Dwight Goodens. I was kind of pissed off they came in really off-centered, but you know what it was? Actually, this is the one I I purchased, and then this got thrown in there as a bonus, maybe because this one's so badly cut. But, again, they're not authentic. They're not legit, so I guess at the end of the day, who gives a shit? This is from um, um, Ace, ACO on eBay. At least that, that was, the I think, the title of the auction listing. And... That seller has a lot of cards like this up there. And the one I really liked that I bought first was this um, uh, Yankees Legendary Captains with Munson, Mattingly, and Derek Jeter. I think that's a super, super looking card. Uh, 82 tops design. So again, um, not licensed and illegitimate. Probably, frankly speaking, illegal to be printing this stuff and selling it. But... Um, I don't know, I liked it a lot. It was like $4. These cards are like 3 to $4 a piece, I think. Legendary captains. And uh, that will do it for this week. So, um, yeah, I'm going to move Tom Brady back here in the middle. And one last look. Thanks for watching.